Hi, I'm Jordan Danae Ellis, Community Manager at Adobe and Patreon Ambassador. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Patreon page with Adobe Express. You can use these tips whether you're starting a brand new Patreon page or revamping one you already have. I've been on Patreon for three or four years, so my page is already up, but I really want to refresh the look. First, I'm going to start by searching Patreon banner in Adobe Express. There are so many banner options. You have a lot to choose from. I'm looking for something that has the size and style that I want that I can just swap out for my own branding. The first thing I want to do is resize this to the Patreon recommended banner size, which is 1600 by 400 pixels. Next, I know that I have a graphic that I want to use as the background, but if you don't have that in mind, you can search the backgrounds or the stock photos that are right here for you in Adobe Express. There are so many choices. Now I just have to resize this, center it, and move it to the background so you can still see the text. I really like the way that the copy is in the center here, but I want the shape to extend all the way to the edges. So I'm gonna make my own rectangle with the basic shapes just resized to exactly what I'm looking for. I also already uploaded my branding to Adobe Express, so I have my brand colors, font, and logo already in here ready to go. So I can pull one of my brand colors right here and then just delete the assets from the template that I don't want anymore. I'm also planning on keeping my banner nice and simple, so I'm just going to upload my logo, center it, but you can also make this as complicated and complex as you want. Now I'm going to make my reward tier graphics. Those are 460 by 200 pixels. So I'm starting from a custom size. And same thing with the banner. You can make these as complex or complicated as you'd like. You can use text. You can do your own custom illustrations and upload them into Adobe Express. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I really like stars and use them a lot in my branding. So I'm using one of the shapes that we have right here in Adobe Express and just kind of arranging them in a nice new way. And that's it. I'm going to swap out the colors for brand colors in four different graphics that I can use for my rewards tiers and just keep it nice and easy. All I have to do is download these as PNGs and I'm ready to revamp my Patreon page. And now we're heading back to our Patreon settings to upload all of the new graphics that we just made. I really love my profile photo, so I'm not going to change that, but you could make your own profile pic in Adobe Express and upload that here too. The last thing you'll need to set up your Patreon page, which Adobe Express can't currently help you with, is the copy for the About My Patreon page section. If writing is difficult for you, I wanna share one of my favorite tricks Sometimes it's easier for me to say out loud what I'm trying to communicate versus writing it down. So I'll record myself either talking to a friend or just talking out loud to myself. And then I can use that transcription as the baseline for what I want to write. For me, that's a lot easier than starting with a blank page. So if you have trouble writing, hopefully that can help you too. Now you have everything you need to set up your own Patreon page. If you have any questions at all, please drop them here in the comments or come hang out with me in one of our Adobe Express communities. And if you have your own Patreon page, please share the link with me here. I'd really love to see it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.